Today, we push the limits of Bowser's theory modern by giving Mario a bunch of the wrong animations. We give Mario Plessy's animations, we give Mario the animations of trees, and Mario gets very interesting when we give him animations from random objects in the game. And let's try changing Mario's values to that of a tree. Oh! So this is how trees walk around, apparently. <laughs> I love the way they just sit here with his hands out. It's like, I'm ready, I'm ready, coach, pass me the ball, I'm ready. <laughs> he's walking, he just glides. Can we run? Oh, if we run, that's cool. I like how his head moves along pretty normally. But every time he goes back to his resting position like this, he's just ready. What if the game started like this? Hold on. Oh, can I even get in that hole? There we go. What if Mario landed like this instead of upside down? Wow, look at that spin. Whoa, it's like Mario is in a... Mario's at a theme park right now. He's on a theme park ride. Might get nauseous from spinning around so quickly. Oh my goodness, and when you do a spin... Oh my goodness, look at his hands now. Look at his, look at his fingers. <laughs> Clenching and unclenching his fists. This is how Mario was meant to move in this game. This is how he originally moved. This is the beta version. Oh my goodness. I love how Mario closes his eyes when he does a spin jump like that. It's just like, he's intensely focused. Look, Mario's just dreaming. Grab any two Wawa Sizzlies for $4 and enjoy a delicious breakfast on the go. Gotta have a Wawa. It looks like Mario's driving an invisible underground cart right now. This is Mario Kart. Let's try switching a bunch of Mario's files with the files of a warp cube. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, warp cubes, they move around very, very carefully. Okay, Mario also closes his eyes when he does a spin jump. Oh! I can't ground pound. Hopefully Mario's comfortable there. This reminds me of Mew from Pokemon. Mario's just sitting there comfortably in the womb. Just blinking away. His protective barrier around him will protect him from the rain. Mario is safe here, nothing to worry about. If I exit to title screen. Uh, hold on a second. Is the font different? I don't think the font normally looks like this. Something about this looks weird to me. I think the font is different. Hey, Mario, where did you go? Mario is now invisible. Okay, so we are playing Bowser's Fury, but Mario is invisible. Can you beat Bowser's Fury if the characters are invisible? You can't even hear Mario. So just head on up here. Okay, we can trigger Bowser. Head on over. Well, maybe if I take damage, I'll shrink down. Oh no, the game just crashes when you take damage. Yeah, the font was definitely different. The font is back to normal now that I reloaded the game. The font was definitely changed. Swap Mario's files with that of a trapeze. Let's see if that does anything. Whoa. It's like Mario is hanging on for his dear life. Mario's about to fall off the level for here. Hold on. Look, he's, he's just trying to hang on. He's just just hanging on there. Oh, you know what? This is actually really funny. Because there are no ledge grabs in this game, and people who have played other Mario games before this one, they might be used to there being ledge grabs. So you could send this picture to somebody, and you could go, Look, I found out how to do ledge grabs in Bowser's Fury. You could do that as a joke. Because this looks like Mario is ledge grabbing here. I added ledge grabs to Bowser's Fury. Yeah, every jump is like a flip, like a long jump. When you do a regular jump, when you stand still for a moment, you start just hanging through the floor like this. <laughs> just look at his face. Mario looks like he's really enjoying this. Mario just really enjoys being here. This is a fantastic place for Mario. He looks so happy that his face and his tummy are just barely sticking out here. Now he looks even more happy. Look how happy he looks. Mario just looks like he's... Oh, there we go. Finally, we got under here. Okay, there we go. Now Mario looks super happy. Look at this. Look how happy Mario looks right here. What a smiling, smiling, happy Mario here. Look at that. 
And I guess we can take a look down here. This is what the world looks like under the goop. And over there. That's what the ship looks like without the goop. <laughs> just makes me laugh every time. Every time you stand still, you just sink into the ground like this. It's like it's quicksand, but you could just like barely hold on and not fall off. When you jump, you do a flip out. Maybe we'd finally be able to clip down here and get the cat shine in here. Oh, but even if we do this, we can't get the cat shine, unfortunately. <laughs> this looks so silly. It looks like Mario is doing a ledge grab in Bowser's Fury, and in Bowser's Fury, there aren't any ledge grabs. From this angle, you can see it's very obvious that it's not a ledge grab. Mario can run on spot, then he sinks down like that. Mario is hanging off that part of this ship for his dear life right now. Bowser is in the background. Maybe if Mario sinks down like this, Bowser's fire won't reach us. Mario will go under the ground like this whenever there's fire coming. Come on, let's see. I'm guessing you still take damage. Yeah, it'll still hit you. Oh, but when you're little Mario, you still sink down like that. Oh, looks like Mario's graphics get a little bit glitchy. This is what Mario looks like. Mario extends very far. If you start moving while crouching, you can actually move around like this, which is kind of funny. Okay, and getting the cat shine works normally. Let's try swapping all these Mario files with Rosetta's, and Rosetta is the name for Rosalina. Okay, so Mario can walk around like Rosalina right now. That's why Mario's walking around like this, and that's why Mario's legs and arms are extended like this. That's why Mario runs like this. Let's try changing these values to Weaving Ship A. I don't know what this is, and I guess we'll see. Okay, I think many objects will make Mario move around like this. Yeah, Mario is just standing like this. What a way to stand. Oh my goodness, and right now, this is actually a roll. Look. This is how Mario's rolls work. Wait, when I... Can I roll without... Oh, I can walk around like that, apparently. And like this. This is a great way to walk around. It looks like I'm just always sliding. Mario's sliding into the home plate right now. Will he get it? Will he get it? And safe! Mario made it. He gets the touchdown. But he still keeps sliding. What a fun way to travel. Yeah, so if you hold the Z button and you press the attack button, this is what dives look like. That isn't a press of the joystick, that is a dive. These are dives that I'm doing right now. Normal walking is like this. Oh, or like this. But yeah, you can hear that those are dives when Mario's in that other position, when he's like this. These are dives right here, and I guess Mario can dive into walls when he is weaving ship A. Mario is very, very, very focused on the ground right here. It's like, whose footsteps are these? Who is just walking here? Great way to walk around. Very safe way to walk around, too. Can you beat Bowser's Fury while always crouching? If you're always crouching like this, it'll definitely make it easier. Oh my goodness, Mario's head! Oh my goodness, that scared me, that looked like it might have hurt. Look at Mario's hands. He's just clenching and unclenching his fists. Okay, let's try turning all of these values into water top. I don't know what this is, so let's see what happens. Let's give him wood box. When you first start to crouch, you turn your head for a bit. Like, look, I can control Mario's head with this. That's actually kind of funny. You can make Mario bob to the beat of some music. Oh, here's an idea, here's an idea. Let's replace all these with Rosetta Skirt. So this is the skirt of Rosalina. Is back on the invisible go kart. This is the Bowser's Fury level of Mario Kart. To the invisible boat mobile! And look, there's even an invisible exhaust pipe for the invisible go kart that Mario has. Quite impressive how quickly this go kart can make Mario go. It's too bad they didn't include this in the regular game. 
if you guys could have one level from this game be in a Mario Kart game, which level from this game would you want to be in a Mario Kart game? <laughs> okay, this is what happens if we swap some of Mario's animations with Plessy's animations. Just look how happy Mario is to be sitting there. Mario just loves sitting there. When Mario walks around, it's like this. It's like Mario's riding on a horse that is at a 45 degree angle. Oh, now all of a sudden the invisible horse is upright. Once you go fast enough, the horse isn't at an angle anymore. It becomes upright. Mario's just bobbing along with the rhythm of the invisible horse. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Mario can ride not only an invisible go-kart, but also an invisible horse. This is quite impressive. Okay, let's try changing these to Pakan fire. Let's see what that does. Time for Mario to dance. Look at Mario's ballet. Mario on ice. Get your tickets today. Okay, what about needle trap tank? Yeah. T posing Mario isn't real. He can't hurt you. So strange seeing Mario like this. If you keep walking down like this, and he doesn't blink or anything. Mario just stares at you. He is completely unmoving. He is like a statue. Have you guys ever seen those street performers? They're like statues. They are seriously impressive. If you like seeing what is possible in games through both regular gameplay and hacking, you can check out my other videos and you might find something that you enjoy. Wishing all of you a fantastic day and take care, everybody. Today... Take your Today, we'll take a closer look at dash panels. We'll see how fast you can make them go if you edit them. And I'll share some interesting ideas that you could use for mods of this game. This dash panel was edited to have a max speed... I was wondering if you could make a pipe shoot out Mario so quickly that he shot through a solid wall. So I made a level with a custom pipe and a wall made of stone blocks to see if we could launch Mario through this wall. Or maybe if we could launch Mario through several walls. The first pipe that you see in Super Bell Hill has a move speed of 20. The pipe that has a branch where you collect the green star has a move speed of 18. Maybe the developers made this pipe have a slower move speed so that you have some more time to react and you can choose where you want to go. The clear pipe cannon that launches you to the second part of the level has a move speed of 25, and there are other pipes in other parts of the game that make you go even faster than this. If we make Mario move at a normal speed in this pipe, there's no way he's going to make it through the solid wall. So I wanted to increase the speed of the pipe, and here's what happens at a pipe speed of 100,000. Okay, maybe that was a bit overkill. We not only shot past the wall, but we shot past the entire level, the death barrier, and even the graphics area. All that's left is the sun. So it looks like maybe we don't have to go too fast to make it through the wall. With a speed of only 1,000, Mario gets shot through the wall. I was wondering if Mario actually goes through the second pipe, so I had to see this again, but the clear pipe was just shooting Mario out this far. 100 speed is not enough to make it through the wall. Mario just slides down the wall if he goes into the clear pipe, and it's funny to see Mario with the cat suit. Crystal clear skin for more than a decade.
I was curious to see how different bosses would behave if we made them upside down in Super Mario 3D World. Different bosses behave in different ways, so let's take a look at them. Bowser doesn't want to be upside down, so instead, I put him at a 90 degree angle. Grab any two Wawa Sizzlies for $4 and enjoy a delicious breakfast on the go. Gotta have a Wawa. I wanted to see how many Goombas you could put onto a single block in Super Mario 3D World in Bowser's Fury, and both games are surprisingly different. In the past video, I made Spike throw random objects and characters, and there are some strange things that you could see when multiple characters were overlapping. So I was wondering how Goombas would behave if we put hundreds of Goombas onto one block. If you put just one Goomba on top of a block, it runs off the block. But there's a property of Goombas called Is Enable Cliff Check that makes enemies not run off cliffs and other surfaces. That's why this Goomba that's normally here in Super Bell Hill doesn't drop down to chase you here, because Is Enable Cliff Check is true for this Goomba. If you make Is Enable Cliff Check true for the Goomba on the block, then you have a Goomba that will sit on top of a block and it won't drop down and chase you. I tried putting two of these Goombas on top of the block, and once they start moving, they push each other off because of how collision works in this game. It might not behave how I wanted it to, so I thought, oh, let's see what happens if you add more Goombas. Here's what happens if about 30 Goombas are all in the same position on top of the block. Goombas are just pouring out like it is a Goomba fountain, and they're all coming towards Mario. We have Goombas filling up the map. It's really interesting to see what shape the Goombas make as they start to fill up the space as they start chasing after Mario. After a few moments, and after a bit of jumping, Mario gets into the groove of things, and Mario doesn't even have to move. He just keeps bouncing on the Goombas as they come close to him, and Mario starts getting a bunch of 1-ups for making a bunch of consecutive jumps on the Goombas. Having to face 100 Goombas is not a problem for Mario. But what about 500 Goombas? At first, the game starts to lag a lot because there's a lot of collision detection and moving objects. We see Goombas spilling out in every direction, and I put Mario on a slightly raised platform so we can see what's going on instead of worrying about the Goombas defeating Mario. Since we're standing still for a while, the camera starts to zoom in on us, and you can see that some of the Goombas that are being pushed out from the main block are actually starting to literally walk all over the first layer of the lower Goombas. It's really funny to see a lot of the Goombas become confused in sync, and all of a sudden they all start to notice Mario again. I'm worried about how close some of these Goombas are getting, and I'm wondering if the Goomba layers will eventually get high enough that they could reach Mario up on this platform. After watching these Goombas pour out for a while, after a little bit of time, it looked like there was only one Goomba left on the block. I wanted to see if there was really only one Goomba left on the original block, so I made my way over to it to see if there were any stacked Goombas left underneath this Goomba. There was just one Goomba there, and on Mario's way back, there were a lot of Goombas for him to stomp on. You might have heard of the infinite one-ups glitch in the Koopa Troopa cave where you bounce on a shell, and here's another way to get a lot of lives. If only there was a block with 500 Goombas on top of it somewhere in Super Mario 3D World. But the fun doesn't last forever, and eventually these Goombas do defeat Mario. Oh, no. 500 Goombas look like a lot, but what about 2,000 Goombas? The start of this seems pretty normal, like what we just saw a moment ago. Well, I guess seeing thousands of Goombas on a block isn't very normal. It's not something to see every day. But after the Goombas become surprised for the first time, you can see a lot of Goombas popping out of the center. And you can see a lot of dust from all the nearby Goombas over at the block as they're trying to walk towards Mario. And you can see some of them overlapping nicely also. The Goombas are being pushed up and away and around, and a natural Goomba hierarchy is being developed. Charmin Ultrasoft is twice as absorbent, so you can use less. You'd expect them to stop eventually, but the Goombas just keep coming. We're seeing layers and layers of Goombas. It's a little weird that the Goombas are walking above each other, and some of them look like they're walking in the air. I'm wondering how many Goombas were pushed off the sides of the level here as well. This little beginning area of Super Bell Hill is becoming quite crowded with Goombas. I would love to fully fill up all of Super Bell Hill with Goombas, but adding more Goombas to the game causes the game to crash. And look at all of these pairs of eyes on Mario. When Mario jumps, it's like he's at a concert and he's making the Goombas do the wave. Mario starts bouncing around the level like he's crowd surfing on these Goombas while defeating them, and we have some more Goombas falling off the level. Mario gets a lot of 1-ups for making these jumps, and he does take damage, so he has to be careful with his crowd surfing. 
Eventually, Mario lands on the ground because the Goombas weren't close enough together, so he has to get another Goomba bounce streak going to keep getting one-ups from bouncing on the Goombas again, and eventually, the Goombas do defeat Mario by making contact with him. And if that wasn't weird enough, I was scrolling backwards through the video, and I thought it was so strange to see what it looked like to see all of the Goombas returning back to a singular Goomba. It's like there's a giant vacuum or a black hole that's sucking back all of the Goombas into a singular spot. This really lets you appreciate how interesting collision detection is in this game, and all of the calculations that are going on to make sure that objects don't pass through each other how they're not supposed to. It's also pretty fun to get a superstar power-up and take on these Goombas by running through them. You can see all of the explosions and particle effects and one-ups that Mario is getting by running around these Goombas. And why are these other Goombas not scared? Wouldn't you be scared if you saw someone that looked like an anime swordsman just running through all your troops and slicing through them like they're paper mache? I had to load this Grab any two Wawa Sizzlies for $4 and enjoy a delicious breakfast on the go. Gotta have a Wawa. It's up in Bowser's Fury to see if it was any different, and yes, it was, and I was very glad. This is what 300 Goombas on a single block look like. It looks like a cloud of bunny rabbits that are floating on multiple layers of clouds, and I was wondering where the block was. And from certain angles, you could see the block, and it would disappear from other angles. I also love that the piranha plant in the background here is doing a pog face. The game was super laggy with all these enemies on the screen, so I made my way over to the question mark blocks where we'd be safe. The Goombas near the center block kept pushing each other away, and it looks like a fountain of cat Goombas was erupting and cat Goombas were being pushed out. We now have a mountain of cat Goombas at Scamper Shores. I wanted to get up high with the propeller box to get some nice drone footage of all these cat Goombas down here. And just like before, the way that the cat Goombas jump when they notice you makes it look like they're doing the wave. There's a ripple effect of the delay between the closer and the farther Goombas when they jump up when they notice Mario. Before we add some more Goombas, here's what it looks like to have 10 Goombas on a single block, so we can see something a bit more normal before we see something really weird. These Goombas are actually seriously well behaved. I was surprised at how orderly this looked. And even with 50 Goombas on a single block, it's starting to look like a crazy ant colony, or a bit like some kind of spinning UFO device. Some Goombas get spit out as you get close, and when you move farther away, it's funny that you can clearly see that there are many Goombas on the block, but they're not close enough to be pushing each other off of the block. As you get close to the Goombas, the Goomba eruption continues again, and Goombas go flying everywhere. Now, I have added 1200 Goombas, the game is even more laggy, and we've got a super low frame rate. I was trying to slowly make my way over to the blocks where Mario would be safe, but I also wanted to get the attention of the Goombas. Once you hear the sound of the Goombas noticing Mario, that's where the game freezes. Getting noticed by hundreds and hundreds of Goombas that all want to run towards you all at once, and they're also trying to push each other away, is unsurprisingly a demanding process. When you pause the game, everything runs completely smoothly, but during regular gameplay, even if you try to get farther away from the Goombas, gameplay was roughly one frame per second. Adding a few more Goombas makes the game crash when you try to load the game. I was really happy with how many Goombas we could get on- Thank you for watching. Make you do three things. No, four things. First of all, leave a like. Two, hit that subscribe button. Number three, hit that notification bell if you guys miss my update on my future videos with the channel. And then comment down below. If Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.